There's no need to get tense. Relax, relax, condense. Subscribe, baby, subscribe. Before I explain the detector circuit, it will be helpful to discuss how the audio signal is encoded in the IF. So far, I've told you that a radio station's transmitted frequency, called the carrier frequency, is encoded with the audio signal, which is passed to the IF signal. The graphic I've shown to represent this has sufficed to this point, but now I want to use an oscilloscope to show you what the signals really look like. On the top display, I've input a 456 kilohertz signal into my oscilloscope, the same frequency as the IF. The x-axis represents time, and the y-axis represents signal strength. Our signal goes from zero to positive, back to zero, to negative, and back to zero, 456,000 times a second. Now let's take a look at an audio tone of one kilohertz. The signal goes from zero to positive, back to zero, to negative, and back to zero, 1,000 times a second. Encoding the IF with the audio is done using amplitude modulation, or AM. This means that the audio signal modulates, or changes, the amplitude of the IF radio signal. This is easily seen on the oscilloscope. Compare the unmodulated IF signal with no audio, with the same signal with modulated audio. The width of the signal hasn't changed because the frequency is still 456 kilohertz, but the amplitude is now going up and down in relation to the audio signal. Here I've connected a radio signal generator to the oscilloscope with an unmodulated 456 kilohertz signal. The radio signal is shown on top. I've also connected a music source to the oscilloscope and that signal is shown on the bottom. And here, I'm modulating the radio signal with the music signal. Notice how its amplitude changes in relation to the music. Radios like our antique Emerson are called AM radios because they use amplitude modulation. FM radios work in a similar fashion, but instead use frequency modulation. Be sure to join me for the next video where you'll learn about the detector tube and the AFC, or automatic volume control circuit. To stay updated, please subscribe and click the bell. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you soon.